If you are interested in a career in technology, it can be overwhelming with the amount of opportunities out there. How do you know which role would suit you the best and help your talents shine? And how do you know which direction to take and therefore which skills to start learning? Let's talk about that in this video. The technology industry has infinite possibilities and opportunities, which is awesome, but then at the same time, it's pretty disorienting. So today I want to talk about the different career directions you can take within the industry and how to find a role that suits you best. Focusing on web development, data analytics, and UX UI design in particular. Before we get into it, I wanted to thank Ironhack for sponsoring this video. Ironhack is a global tech school with campuses in nine countries all over the world. It was founded to disrupt the way we learn and give students the opportunity to change their life and career through tech. They're currently offering remote courses which aren't your typical online courses but are all live via virtual classrooms with instructors ready to help you and with your peers learning along with you. You can join the classes from anywhere in the world and get live career support from their career coaches that help you get ready for the job market. Learn more about Ironhack and its courses using the link in the description of this video. A lot of people focus too much on whether a role or a field is lucrative. I get a ton of questions on whether a field is booming and what programming language to learn. I believe that this is the wrong approach here though. I think that the best way to figure out what role and what direction for your career is right for you is by starting with you. Being self-aware, understanding what talents you have, what interests you and how to best apply your previous experience and knowledge, all of these things are super important here. So I recommend doing some reflection on those to understand you better as the unique person and job candidate that you are. After that, the next step would be doing some research, exploration, and trying out the things that you find the most interesting. Your goal here is to find something that you enjoy doing, something that lights up your curiosity and that excites the problem solver in you. Something that you're excited to dive into and spend a lot of time on because you will spend a lot of time building your skills and then using those skills once you get a job in the field. You can do this by doing research online, networking with people in the field and asking them about their roles and of course by learning basic skills. There's a wealth of information online on the topic and a ton of free resources. For example, Ironhack organizes free hands-on webinars helping to demystify certain professions. Sign up to their mailing list using the link in the description to be the first one to know when the next webinar is happening. Finally, Ironhack has an awesome quiz that will help you get a better understanding of what direction might be right for you. I will leave a link to it in the description as well. It's very important to explore and try things out before you commit to a direction because you want to make sure that you enjoy what you're doing. This will make you infinitely better at your job and happier in general. And now let's look at some of those potential career directions starting with web development. Web development is all about building programs and applications from a simple website to a more complex platform like the one that you're watching this video on. Somebody has built it by writing lines and lines of code that tells the computer what to do and how to display things. It's all about writing commands for the computer in the language that it understands, which then translate into apps that we use and interact with. Web development is a wonderful direction for anyone who enjoys logic and finds problem solving exciting. You would be building things from scratch using code, whether websites, features, or whole applications, depending on the role that you pick and the company that you work for. It's an awesome career choice if you're not scared of a challenge, enjoy building solutions and finding multiple approaches to a problem, and finally, if you're not afraid of learning how to code. Web development further divides into front-end development, which is building the interface that the end user interacts with, and back-end development, building everything else that the end user doesn't see. I have a separate video on the difference between front-end and back-end, which I will leave a link to in the description, and you can also combine the two and learn the two and become a full-stack developer. With the amount of technology popping up worldwide, this field is flourishing. 
It's important to note, though, that different types of projects will require skills in different programming languages. So if you decide that web development is the right career for you, then before you commit to learning a programming language, I would first explore what programming languages are out there, what they would allow you to build, and what the demand is like for developers with those skills. Data analytics is another route that you can take, and it is what it sounds. You would be working with and analyzing data. Data is everywhere these days, but numbers by themselves don't mean much. You need to analyze it in order for this data to have meaning, show trends and insights on how we can do something better. For example, supermarkets have a ton of data. They track inventory, uh, expiration dates, purchases, and so on. And on its own, this data is basically tracking what's happening. However, once you start analyzing things and connecting the dots, you can see some very useful insights and trends. And this useful information can be about seasonal purchase trends or how much inventory a supermarket should stock in order to reduce waste because things just go off. Data analysts use code in order to access databases and tell computers what to do with that data in order to process that data and to show those trends and insights. This field is also the gateway into data science and machine learning, which are really exciting career trajectories as well. If you enjoy working with numbers, love investigating, and are very analytical by nature, this field would be perfect for you. It's all about seeing stories in numbers and helping develop strategies based on the information and the insights that you've extracted from a sea of data. If you get excited about statistics, you should definitely explore this field. Data analysts are also in high demand because we're collecting more and more information every single day, from digitizing processes to coming up with new wearable technologies. All of that new data is telling stories, but these stories need to be uncovered by proper analysis. UX UI design is a relatively new field and is all about creating helpful and intuitive apps. UX stands for user experience, and you are literally designing an experience of the user when you're designing it, and UI stands for user interface, designing an intuitive interface. You can either do one or the other, or do both at the same time. The choice is yours. And if you'd like to learn more about the difference between the two, I have a separate video on the topic, which I will leave a link to in the description. UX and UI design are great for anyone who loves creating awesome experiences for users. It involves a ton of empathy and creative thinking and is all about prototyping, testing, reiterating, etc., etc., etc. These professionals work closely with developer teams in order to implement the designs. Basic technical knowledge is definitely a plus, however, they don't necessarily need to know how to code. But, however, research skills and the understanding of design principles is a must. UX UI design is also booming right now. Businesses understand the need for creating functional designs that solve users' problems more than ever. They also understand that users are picky and will switch to a competitor if their software has better UX or UI. So there are a ton of jobs for these professionals and I don't see that slowing down anytime soon. If any of those directions sounded interesting, but you're still not quite sure which one to pursue, you should take Ironhack's quiz on the topic. And once you get your results, they will send you an email with a ton of resources on the profession that you got. Find the quiz using the link in the description. Some of the other popular directions in which you can take your career in tech are IT, which stands for information technology, professionals in this field, test, build, install, repair, or maintain computer networks and software. Their job is to ensure that all the systems are working and are facilitating the flow and the use of the information throughout the company. Cybersecurity. Cybersecurity professionals help to protect those systems and also sensitive information within the organization. Some of those efforts can be purely defensive, while others can be offensive, testing systems and their security. And just like with other directions in tech that I have mentioned, this field has a ton of different roles within it. 
Cloud computing. This field is all about creating programs on the cloud and working with cloud server providers to solve problems. Again, a highly demanded direction. Professionals with these skills are really valued on the market. There are also other directions that you can take, but the main thing is to understand what suits you the best. Start by understanding what interests you, what fires you up, and what skills and talents do you have. And if you're switching careers, you can always find a way to apply your previous experience to your advantage and find a competitive edge in a certain niche. For example, I knew a girl who used her restaurant business background to her advantage when she became a web developer by focusing on that specific niche and combining her restaurant business knowledge to become a better web developer uh, when it comes to that niche. I also have interviewed Julia who used her journalism background and analytics skills as a data scientist to tell better stories with data. I will leave a link to our interview in the description. Once you understand what is interesting to you, start moving in that direction. Learn those skills, practice working on projects, connect with people in the field and explore your interests further. Let your curiosity and your passions bring you to the role that's right for you. And if something clicks when you hear about web development, data analytics, or UX UI design, then you should absolutely check out Ironhack and its courses. They offer awesome learning experiences all over the world and remote classes, which as I've already mentioned, are all live. They also have different financing options and provide amazing career services, helping you find a great job in the industry after you graduate from their courses. And with an 89% placement rate, their graduates work at companies like Google, Twitter, Accenture, Visa, BBC, Cabify, GE, and many more. I have left a link in the description for you to check them out. Finally, Ironhack is offering 10% off its courses if you put Coding Blonde as a referral when you're checking out a course. Let me show you how to do that. When you're filling out your application for a course at Ironhack, scroll down and in the field that says, how did you hear about us? Select other and then write down Coding Blonde. And when you apply, you will get the 10% discount that Ironhack is currently offering. Don't miss out on this awesome opportunity to kickstart your career in tech. I hope you managed to find the right direction for your career in tech soon, and I can't wait for you to get started on it. Let me know in the comments what direction sounds the most interesting to you. Like this video if you've enjoyed it and share it with a friend who is also thinking about a career in tech but isn't quite sure on which direction to take. We can also be friends on other social media. You can find me as Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time today you're currently experiencing. Bye.